guys, welcome to the Martaverse. Here today to tell you more about a project I got really interested in recently called the V Empire. I will try and explain a little closer what they do and talk about their utility as well as price action and my predictions. Enjoy. V Empire, as they call themselves, is the world's largest decentralized organization and its protocol incorporates different strategies to incentivize metaverse token staking to fund the battle against centralization. The use of revenue streams to purchase land in other metaverses helps prevent from monopolization by private VCs who leave the land undeveloped. And their active measures prevent well control and centralization. They were able to purchase assets and virtual real estates in some of the largest lands used in the metaverse industry. In their recent reports, they've stated that in the recent investments they've made, they brought them back incredible returns, notably Sand and Star being one of the best. But collectively, four of their investments have made them over 900% in returns in quarter four of last year alone. Very impressive. Recently added burning mechanism is making this asset a deflationary one. The mechanism is applicable to staking pools in mana, sarl and sand. Burning tokens decreases its supply, which will increase its value of, of the token over time due to it being more scarce. The way the project works is they run various staking pools, such as Ethereum, mana, Sand, Axie Infinity AXS, Ape, and BNB. Sol is currently under works. The tokens from the metaverse pools are used to make investments such as lands, NFTs, projects, and ICOs. Around 80% of those profits go back to the pool as rewards, whereas about 10 to 20% are swapped back into VAMP and sent back into the DDL. DDO is where you can stake your tokens for XVAMP and, X and get access to all other metaverse pools. V Empire are also looking into launching a stable coin pool in quarter three of this year. And the choice of the coin will belong to the community. So if you want to have a say, make sure you follow them and get voting. You can also earn VAMP by playing a game, the V Empire, the beginning. All profits made in the battles go back to the DDO. Additionally, you can also stake your NFTs. If you're staking the plebs, you will be receiving the profits made from the game. The tokens then can be compounded and you can get more rewards and gain frictional exposure to the metaverse. The token makes currently stand at max supply 810 million with over 173 million in circulating supply. VEMP token being the native token, XVAMP being the governance token used in staking the VAMP and SXVAMP is used to train your soldiers and battle them in the fights. Currently, VAMP is trading above the launch price in around above 20%. It has found its bottom in this level and is holding the support nicely. Has an amazing potential to the upside. You can purchase it on KuCoin, Gate.io, BitMEX Mix, and also several DEXs like PancakeSwap, Uniswap, and SheepSwap. Given the current market and what we're seeing around um, in crypto world, there's no chance Metaverse is going anywhere. Every project that is concentrating on development and working hard to bring us more amazing features and becoming a staple in this industry is worth making note of. I've put VEMP on my radar because of all those reasons. They have continuously proven that they are working behind the scenes and they're working very hard, bringing revenue and making amazing improvements. Metaverse trends are ever changing and expanding. V Empire has made sure they look after all of their investors across different layers of the metaverse. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're going to click that button, subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on. 
It was a pleasure, guys, talking to you and telling you more about the Empire. I hope you really, really liked it and I'll see you out there again soon.